Uh, Jed, thanks so much for joining us. We're just um, kicking up with a fan question we had with how the boys picked themselves up after the loss against the Richmond on the weekend. Uh, yeah, you try and move on pretty quick. Um, obviously, it's a disappointing result, um, but we've got to put it all in perspective and look at the, the three weeks before that. Um, and when you're coming up against Gold Coast, you know, the Q Clash, I don't know what number we're up to, Q Clash, whatever, um, it's pretty easy. So uh, we'll pretty much move forward from here on in and, and look forward to, to Gold Coast. Was there a message from the coaching staff post-game to the players? It was more just around, let's make sure we focus on everything we've done well so far. Um, we hope that the weekend was a bit of a blimp in the radar and, and we can, um, yeah, as I said, focus on, on the first three weeks and the positive steps that we made in those games and the ability to compete um, against some really good teams. So um, obviously the weekend didn't happen, but you know, quickly move forward um, to Sunday and um, get ready for that game. I guess one uh, positive for us was Cam Rayner's game on the weekend, 22 possessions and a goal. How have you seen his development so far in his first season of AFL? Um, yeah, it's, I guess, what is he, four games in, four games in now? Um, sorry. Um, and it, ha it has, I think what we've seen is slowly a, a nice development. Um, he tends to like the contested games, um, and which for an 18 year old is a real, real positive. Um, obviously as his body continues to develop, even though he's pretty, pretty big already, but as he cont continues to develop through his body and um, understands the game and patterns and the speed and um, what it takes to play AFL footy at elite level for a long time, he'll, he'll only continue to grow and the weekend he was probably one of our best players, so it was a real positive step for him. Another um, one of our draftees, he had his debut on the weekend, Zach Bailey, how do you think that he went in the game? Um, he did alright, yeah, it was one of those games where it's looking back, you're like, oh, how good is it going to be to debut against in a reigning Premier's MCG, family and friends are there and you go out and kick two goals, something. So it's, yeah, it wasn't the result he was after, but I think no matter what, he'll always look back on his first game and um, remember it for whatever reasons, but he'll remember it for his first game and um, playing on the MCG against the reigning Premiers. So, um, but it was a really nice development for him to, to be able to play in that game. Um, he did some really nice things and we saw some um, good signs of what he's going to bring at AFL level. Um, and I guess hopefully we'll look to do that again this week. Yeah. We've got the Suns this week, as you said, at home against the Gold Coast. Uh, Charlie lit up the Gabba last time that he played here. How have you found, he's your forwards coach, so how have you found his kicking efficiency and accuracy so far this season? It's been really handy, hasn't it? So um, I think it was nine goals two going into the weekend and, um, you know, he's, he's really been slotting them from everywhere. So he adds a, a bit of a different dimension down there for us. He, we've always had smaller forwards, but he, he really adds that pressure that we probably lacked a little bit last year. Um, his pace and being able to yeah, defend but also at the same time attack and um, obviously there was a lot of talk about the hit on Gorn um, from round three or two, round two, so um, you know we, we hope he just continues to you know be pretty electrifying and um, maybe look to get him up the ground a little bit more at times but um, I'm pretty happy with him in that forward 50 and what he's doing. How do you think himself and our other small forward, Alan Christensen, are going? And also, I guess, the rotation with Eric Hipwood, one of our tall forwards. How do you think that's going so far this season? Yeah, it's been an interesting forward line. We've probably really had a, out of all three areas on the ground, this is the one that's really changed from last year. Um, when you bring Bundy back in, Mitch Robbo, um, Charlie, Cam Rayner. So we've really got probably four, you know, Zach Bailey on the weekend. So five new players that have come through our forward line that we haven't seen. Um, so it's going to take a little bit of time for them to really come together and develop and understand each other's games and patterns and um, the ins and out of what they want to do. But I think we've actually seen some really good signs of when they play well together, like as we were talking about with the game against Melbourne and even the stuff against Port, like how electrifying they can be. And when they get it, when they get it right, it's, it's pretty exciting. Um, yeah, and Hippie's development's been, once again, a gradual rise again. Um, he's He's playing against bigger bodies again than what he probably did last year. He's taking on a more um, key defender. So he's got to work out ways now that he can um, give him different looks and, and use his attributes to his advantage. So um, I think we've seen that in patches. Thanks so much, Jed, and all the best with your preparation ahead of the Gold Coast this weekend. Cheers. Thanks, guys.